I personally think Mikel Arteta is evolving as a manager every single week. Of course, there is some issues certain times, but I think overall he's improving at an incredible level. And against West Ham, he proved the brilliance of his tactical knowledge. And I think a 6 0 win for Arsenal was fair given how good his tactics were. With a lot of players, I think, benefiting from his tactical changes, I think one of the players that was key was Ben White's new role. And this is how Ben White's new role has saved Arsenal and could probably save him for the rest of the season. Now, I spoke about it a little bit when I spoke about Odegaard guide in the recent video but Ben White was so vital in this game and I think Ben White the last few weeks has been very very good for Arsenal. Against Liverpool he pl mostly played his defensive role but he played it very well and was very solid the whole game and this game he finally got shown in a different role and I think we saw glimpses of it against Liverpool but we figured out how to work with Kivior in left back. Before Kivior did not want to invert as a left back because he's not very good on the ball. This is nothing against him he's very much a defensive player he was played at centre back most of his career and like Gabriel Gabriel can't invert and that's why he didn't play at the start of the season. So when Kivion has inverted it's became so many big problems for Arsenal because he don't know when to invert and when to stay in his position and it leaves gaps in midfield with Rice pushing up and Kivion not being in the right position and also he doesn't defend properly when he's a bit disjointed. This happened a lot in the Fulham game that Arsenal lost and the first goal was ultimately Kivion not marking his player at the back post. And Arsenal do have a lot of very good on the ball players in defence. This is how we build up, this is how Arteta's wanted to build his team. So Saliba, Gabriel Gabriel Raya and Ben White have been a key part of this adaptation to the team and obviously Zinchenko when he inverted. So Arteta took this and thought why don't I invert Ben White and we saw Ben White invert a lot in the West Ham game and it actually worked. However it wasn't just a traditional inverting system. In order for Arsenal to get past West Ham's press and most presses they do they often played a 4-2-4 in this game. This meant Odegaard had to come back to a double pivot with Rice and Kivior and White would cover the fullback position. This obviously helped them get out of the box. It was a lot of players for West Ham to get pressed by and it helped Odegaard progress to the ball pass the ball up. Although this does go past West Ham's press it lacks numbers going high so Arsenal can't really penetrate the defence of West Ham. This is because Arsenal typically like to attack with a 3-2-5 setup especially in possession. This means someone inverts often creating an overload on one of the sides and often against four defenders or maybe a DM it's either a 5v5 or 4v5 in Arsenal's favour giving them a lot more attacking fluidity and a lot more positions up there especially so they can press the other team who have the ball if they do or keep the ball and try and create an opportunity. Now instead of White just getting up into this 3-2-5 system he had to be careful. When Odegaard was in the deeper part of midfield he had to make sure he was up in the part of his right back spot and he would actually progress well being an overlapping system for that role. But if Odegaard was a bit deeper with the defenders and kicking the ball up Ben White can actually progress a lot further into the middle going forward and sometimes he wasn't necessarily an overlap he actually came in the middle in midfield and because White has actually played in defensive midfield under to Bielsa at Leeds who's definitely used as much more passing role than Kivior and with his brilliant passing that he already has he could actually put passes together and bring Arsenal up the pitch without having to rely on Odegaard to progress the ball up but often White had to be intelligent and adjust his position based on where Odegaard is and he couldn't be so gung-ho and go forward and couldn't be so reliant in going forward and be stay back and often how good he was actually at this job in this game shows how great Ben White is at understanding tactical discipline and shows Arsenal's tactical discipline as a whole to have developed this in the game despite obviously this being good because it gets Ben White into them positions and eventually it makes it into a front five this doesn't actually progress quickly so Arsenal have to wait for Ben White to even catch up or get into the right position this means it doesn't give Arsenal very quick progression through a deep build and often West Ham could actually get back and have more people back such as their three midfielders and their four defenders overlapping and making more people than the front five now the issue is this in the game West Ham didn't really have much midfield balance and they often kept running to the same balls making mistakes and Arsenal would overload them in little situations around the pitch getting quicker up the pitch making it a lot easier to score when West Ham really should be defending better. The whole point of this overall plan is it's centred around exerting control. Combine that with the physical makeup of the team Havertz in midfield and obviously Kivio at left back. Arsenal already had a very physical team to cope with West Ham's physicality and with West Ham staying off the ball very often not being very quick and not being incredibly technical in defence or midfield it became clear that this was the best opportunity Arteta had to use his strength at the back and then use his technical ability to get past the defenders. Sometimes West Ham did get through and this is normal in these such circumstances. It's very hard role to and tactical discipline to get away. And some players at West Ham have are very good at capable of producing top individual and collective moments going through a few players, getting through the transition, but Arsenal just dominated them the whole game. 
And something brilliant about the interchange between Odegaard and Ben White is that it kept West Ham pinned back. They didn't know who was going to keep the ball and often when they're both progressing they didn't understand where the ball was going to be progressed by so they struggled to really cope with this. And how Arsenal won the corner for their first goal was because Ben White inverted in and Odegaard managed to play a bit deeper then invert as well back in to help him. This often made Arsenal have a massive overload in midfield and even if it didn't they had players that had the capability of going past other West Ham players putting some out of the game and when their attack was simply not defending such as Kudas and War Prowse. They were getting overmanned in defence, winning us corners and obviously we scored for them brilliantly. Another brilliant thing of inverting Ben White is that he is also a physical player. He can win headers and win duels if you need to deep there. But because Arsenal had obviously Kivyot in left back in his right position and Havertz a bit deeper from goal kicks, Arsenal were often winning duels to win the headers down and getting up the pitch very quickly. And this often bypassed the majority of West Ham's midfielders other than Alvarez and just left the attack in the defence. And when Ben White came up, it was a five on four or five on five and not only is this pinning back so important for Arsenal when they have this inverting happening it also makes some of their players even more vital I thought Trossard in this game was insane but it's because this system helps him when Arsenal have this team like West Ham pinned back it allows Leo to do what he does best combine in and around the box and he creates brilliant separation for himself via dribbling and using his elite ball striking when he's not getting pushed off the ball by these physical players all the time and they're focused on so many other players and there's so many other creative threats around him he often works better being the sneaky one getting in there doing brilliant skills. And I spoke about this in the Odegaard video, but him coming to the edge of the box to help Odegaard, I think benefited both of them and getting the ball more, creating more of a problem for West Ham's defence individually. And I've seen a lot of complaints about Arsenal and Vernon, but the whole point of it is to make more control happen for Arsenal. And people can say what they want, but the control matters in football games. And Arsenal's control has helped them win games because now you're starting to see the attack line match the defensive line. Arsenal in the last 12 games in the Premier League have the highest XG of score and they had 27 and scored 27 goals which is the second most and this is all about the control that's exerted in the game by these sort of passengers. I also think this Ben White role is something we probably would have seen Timber go into. With Kivior playing left back was definitely an option if Sinchenko got injured. I think Timber would have been moved to right back, obviously, if he was fit. This is something I think we tried to do with Thomas Party, but obviously Thomas Party doesn't have the mobility to go back into position and isn't a natural defender, so it can't really do the levels that Ben White can. And the main thing about Arteta's players that he picks, he picked great ball playing players all around the pitch, but they also have to be smart. He wants people to be tactically adept in games. He wants people to be big figuring out what corner strategies and what strategies we need to do everywhere on the pitch and you really see that by the adaptations in game. He wants to make sure he doesn't have to do as much as possible because he expects the players to do it on the pitch and players like Ben White are incredibly smart at putting this vision across so are Odegaard and that's why they were perfect in this game. And there might not be enough media coverage on this game for Arsenal because they just thrash a team and seems to be no one cares. Match for the day just did analysis on Arsenal's corners which we know about and we've seen about hundreds of times but don't let that fool you this Arsenal team is special and this performance performance alone was very special this team are leveling up every week let them go on to buy tours more often thank you guys for watching let me know what you think of this video if you like this video i recommend going watching my odegaard tactical video i did yesterday and let me know what you think about that in the comments i'll see you in the next one